Hello, my angels. You know, your spirit team is powerful. They work in mysterious, magical ways. I have a feeling you've been praying for clarity, asking your guides and angels for a sign. And here you are, stumbling across this message. Maybe you've never seen my face before, this could be our first time connecting. But there's a reason you're here. I can feel it. I don't know exactly what I'm about to say, but I trust that source will guide us, and there's something here that you need to hear. I sense that you're at a big turning point in your journey. Right now, it feels like you're being asked to make a choice, to fully commit to one path. You've been on a long road of self-discovery, finding out who you really are, but it seems like you're standing in between two worlds. I picture you trying to balance two parts of your life, juggling two big things at once. It could be your earthly life and your spiritual life pulling you in different directions. It's almost as if you have one foot still rooted in the past. Maybe old habits are showing up again, or memories of people from the past keep coming up. These thoughts, these old energies, they're resurfacing now, almost asking for your attention. But at the same time, you're holding this golden egg, a shining, beautiful opportunity. I see it as a glowing, precious gift. It's like you're standing right on the edge of something huge. This is more than just a moment, it's the start of truly living your purpose. You're being shown a powerful choice. It's like the universe is nudging you to step fully into who you're meant to be. This moment is big, huge. I feel the energy, and it's intense. The path forward is bright, and it's waiting for you. I feel a strong presence from your family, from loved ones who have passed on. Their energy is here, almost like a warm embrace. They're saying something so beautiful, you are achieving things they once dreamed of doing in their lives. They're not wishing for those things anymore, they're not sad or yearning. Instead, they're bursting with pride. They're watching you, cheering you on, amazed by how you're living the life they once hoped to live. These family members didn't always have the tools or the right environment to reach those dreams. But you, you have something special, something golden, a light that surrounds you. I can see it so clearly, your hands covered in a golden glow, like they're meant for something powerful. Maybe you work with your hands. Maybe you feel energy flowing through them, like they're tools for healing, creating, or expressing who you are. It's almost like your hands are a part of your magic. They carry this warmth and energy, and they make a difference in the world around you. I'm reminded of my mom, she had the most beautiful hands, hands that felt like they held love and strength. Maybe you'll understand that feeling. Maybe you, too, feel there's something deeply powerful in your hands, something unique that connects you to your ancestors and to your purpose. They're proud of you, and they're with you. They're watching you live out dreams they once held close, and their pride is like a golden light that surrounds you. You've been on fire lately, handling everything with such power and grace. It's like you're balancing two worlds, this one here on Earth and the one way up in the stars. I see you moving between them, like a dancer. There's a flow to what you're doing, almost like a dance with life itself. You're holding on to both worlds, one foot grounded, one hand reaching into the universe, and somehow making it all work. This is pure divine energy. You've stepped into this unique place, a small, magical space where time and reality feel different. It's like the universe cracked open just a tiny bit, and you slipped right into that little gap. You might feel like you're floating or living in a dream. Things could seem hazy, like they're not quite real. That's because you're in a kind of in-between space, a portal where the normal rules don't apply. Right now, 
Your angels and guides have so much access to you, more than ever. They're close, almost like they're reaching right out to you. They're guiding you as you move through this unique space. It's as if you're dancing with them, holding this perfect balance between reality and the universe. And even though it feels strange, it's beautiful. You're fully in tune, fully connected. You're creating magic in this space between worlds, and it's something truly special. I want to honor and respect you for the strength you show. Watching you balance two worlds is powerful and truly inspiring. I know how hard it is to walk this line. It's no easy feat, and you're doing it with such grace. Now, I want to share something with you, this might come across as a bit of tough love, but it's coming from a place of care. Spirit is pushing me to say this, and they're being a bit blunt, so I'll try to soften it. It feels like you're so detached right now, almost like you've taken a step back from your own life. It's as if you're watching everything from the outside, observing instead of living in it. You're seeing your life unfold, but from a distance, without letting yourself get too wrapped up in it. This ability to observe without attachment is a gift. You have a rare skill, being able to pull back and see everything with clear, calm eyes. You don't let your emotions tie you down. Instead, you watch, you analyze, you learn. This level of detachment is something not everyone can reach, but you've found it naturally. It's like you've mastered the art of stepping back, looking at life with an open, wise perspective. In many ways, this makes you a seeker of truth. You don't just dive in without thought, you understand the value of stepping back and watching things unfold before you act. This balance of presence and distance gives you a unique kind of wisdom. You see what's real and what isn't, and you aren't afraid to look at it without letting it shake your core. And that, my friend, is a rare and powerful quality. Right now, you're in a place of deep self-awareness. You're watching yourself closely, almost like a movie. You see yourself holding on to some old habits or seeking little bits of attention here and there. You know these things feed your ego in some way, and you can see it clearly. It's like you're standing back, almost emotionless, studying it all with quiet curiosity. There's a part of you that just knows you have a unique light, a spark, about you. You see it, you recognize it, but you're just observing it right now. This energy feels a bit in between. It's like you have one foot in your past and one foot reaching into your future. You're trying to balance both worlds, holding on to some things from before while looking at all the possibilities ahead. And yes, you're doing well, you're holding it together. But right now, your spirit team, your guides, they're stepping in. They're saying, listen, you've got to make a choice here. You can't stay in this middle space forever. You're at a crossroads, and it's time to decide which direction you're really going to take. You might feel like you found a balance here, but this isn't somewhere you can stay. Think of it like standing on the edge of a cliff, peering at the view below. You can admire it, but eventually, you'll need to decide to either step back to safe ground or take the leap into the unknown. Spirit is saying you can't keep hovering between two worlds. They're nudging you forward, urging you to make that leap toward your future. You've done a great job balancing it all so far. You've shown patience and insight. But now, the universe is calling for movement, for action. They want you to take that step into what's next. I know this is going to speak to someone out there. I feel it. And I say this with love, okay? I'm here to be real with you. You might be telling yourself, I'm balanced. You're still dipping into things you know aren't helping you grow. But then, you turn around and dive deep into your spiritual work, 
your personal growth, all of it. It's like you're saying, this is my balance. But let's get honest for a second. Have you asked yourself if maybe, just maybe, you're holding yourself back? Could it be that you're the one blocking your path, standing in your own way of hitting those goals and dreams? Are you delaying your own success? This can be a tough question, but it's worth exploring. And I get it, figuring out where to put your energy is hard. It's a real challenge to decide when to rest, when to create, and when to let yourself just enjoy. Life doesn't have to be all about spiritual focus or non-stop work toward goals. Everything you do, yes, even the fun stuff, is part of the bigger picture. But balance is key. Imagine a scale, with your spiritual growth on one side and all the little temptations and past habits on the other. It's okay to have both, but be honest about where your energy is going. This is about checking in with yourself, deciding what really serves you, and figuring out how to reach for your dreams without letting anything pull you off track. Balance means knowing when to tap into your spirit and when to put in the grind. It means allowing yourself to live fully, with purpose and joy. And you can do this. You're capable of finding that middle ground, that steady rhythm where your growth and goals work together lifting you higher. I won't lie to you, finding true balance is hard. It takes strength. But right now, you're being called to go all in. There's a deep part of you, a spark, that knows you have what it takes to reach amazing heights, places most people only dream about. That's not just random, it's a sign that you're meant to follow that path. Those dreams and goals wouldn't live in your heart if you weren't meant to make them real. Think about it, so many people look at their lives and say, that kind of success isn't for me. I'll never be wealthy. I'll never make a living from my passion. They settle, thinking big dreams are only for others. But you've never been like that. You've always felt that itch, that quiet voice saying, if it's possible for them, why can't it be possible for me? And now, you're reaching a place where you're starting to see your worth. You're accepting that you've always been worthy of these big dreams. I'm here to tell you, those dreams wouldn't be there if they weren't meant for you. There's a version of you out there, your highest self, who is already living out these dreams. That version of you is calling out to you right now. And that's why you feel this pull so strongly. But it's so easy to get distracted, right? Sometimes we end up getting in our own way. So ask yourself, in what ways are you holding yourself back? Maybe you're scared of success. Maybe there's a fear that once you reach the top, you'll still feel empty. Or maybe it's your own power that scares you your ability to change your life and go after these huge goals. Sit with these questions. Don't avoid them. Are you putting off your journey because of fear? Are you choosing things you know don't help you? Are there boundaries you need to set? Are there old habits you need to leave behind? These aren't easy questions, but facing them will push you forward. Listen to that future self, that highest version of you, and let it guide you. When you start asking these hard questions and listening to your heart, you'll find the strength to step into your fullest potential. And that's where the real journey begins. Here's the truth, you've outgrown a lot of things. You're trying to keep living in a way that once worked, but now feels like a shadow of what you really need. Those friends, those habits, and that lifestyle all played a big part in getting you here. Back then, you needed them, they helped you learn, grow, and reach this stage. But now, deep down, your soul feels out of sync with them. You're still holding on, but it's not the same. Maybe you feel that little pull inside, hinting that it's time to let go. 
Sometimes, we ignore that feeling, hoping it'll go away. But ignoring it usually makes things tougher. Here's what happens when we ignore that inner voice. From my own experience, I know it's easy to ignore the call for change. We make promises to ourselves, thinking, this time, I'll quit this habit. This time, I'll let go of what doesn't serve me. And sometimes, we just don't follow through. We forgive ourselves on the surface, but inside, a bit of guilt sticks. Over time, that little bit of guilt grows. It starts as a whisper and turns into a weight. And here's the hard part, every time you ignore that promise, you start to lose a bit of trust in yourself. Each broken promise isn't just about a goal left unfinished. It slowly erodes your self-trust. Even if you forgive yourself, your spirit knows. You feel a little less sure of your own word. That's why those inner calls matter. They're a guide. Every time you listen to them, you're proving to yourself that you can trust your choices, that you're ready for what's next. Right now, it's your time to step up and listen to that call inside. Let go of what no longer fits. Those old pieces serve their purpose, but they don't define your future. Trust yourself, honor the change, and see where it leads. Right now, it feels like there's something internally going on with you. I can feel it, I know you know it. I know you know it's there. There's something that you know you have to let go of, something that you, wow, these lights, I'm telling you, they be listening, okay? There's something that you know you have to change right now. Something that you know you have to face too, within yourself and about yourself, and about your journey, and where you're at at this point. But I feel like you might be procrastinating a little bit. Oh, you know what just came to me? Oh my goodness, I know exactly why you're procrastinating. It feels like, wherever you are right now, you've finally reached a place where you feel some comfort. I can almost cry just thinking about it. You're at a point where, for the first time, you feel like there are people around you who, even if they don't fully lift you up, give you a sense of love and care. Or maybe it's an environment that feels safe. This feeling might be new to you. It might not even be true stability or real security, but because you've spent so much of your life lacking love, it feels like something you need to hold on to. You're savoring it. You're clinging to these connections, this place, this moment because they feel different. They feel good enough. But maybe there's a part of you that wonders, if I let this go, will I ever feel love like this again? Even if it's not perfect, even if I know I'm not experiencing the fullest kind of love, at least it's something. I finally feel something. And because you've missed that feeling for so long, you're afraid to let it go. This is the time to be kind to yourself, my love. You don't need to hold on to half measures out of fear that it's the best you'll get. You're worthy of a love that's deep, whole, and true. That love exists, even if it means letting go of the familiar to find it. And don't forget, holding on to something less than what you need only keeps you from the greater love and the greater life waiting for you. You deserve to feel safe, loved, and truly alive in every part of your journey. Trust that the path ahead will bring you more than just a good enough feeling. It will bring you everything your heart truly desires. There are moments in life when we know we have to walk away. And let's be real, that can feel like the hardest, scariest thing ever. It's gut-wrenching. It's terrifying because you don't know if you'll find something that fills you up in the same way again. It feels like you're being asked to take a leap, to step fully into the unknown, with no promise of what's on the other side. It's like standing at the edge of a cliff, looking out into the fog, with no idea what's waiting on the other side of that jump. But I'm here to tell you this, 
and I believe the universe is speaking through me, sending this message straight to you, you are meant for so much more. I want you to hear this and let it sink in, you haven't even laughed your hardest laugh yet. Think about that. Can you believe it? There's still joy ahead, joy so deep it'll make your heart ache. You haven't even loved someone as deeply as you will one day. There's a bigger, truer love waiting for you. The most breathtaking moments, the awe, the magic, they're still on their way. And here's the thing, right now, it might seem like you've already felt it all. But what if I told you that, just beyond this comfort zone, there's a whole world of bliss, a world you haven't even touched yet. You are meant to experience life in ways that will fill you up completely. If you've known pain and hardship, if you've felt loss and struggle in waves, then there's an equal and opposite experience waiting for you. It's time for an excess of love, laughter, and magic. You're meant to feel it all, to live fully, with your heart wide open. But here's the deal, it starts with being brave. It starts with letting go of what's comfortable, familiar, and safe, and stepping forward. You have to choose to trust that something better is out there. That when you leap, life will catch you. And that leap? It's the first step to the kind of life you were always meant to have. You know what? It's wild to think about, but there's a quote that really hits home, your new life is going to cost you your old one. That can be a tough pill to swallow. When I say this, I don't mean you should just forget who you were or who you still are. No way. You need to carry all those pieces of yourself with you. Let me share something personal. I do meditations where I connect with my inner teenager. And let me tell you, she was a handful. She had a lot of attitude. She could be feisty and a little scary sometimes. Honestly, it felt like I was walking on eggshells around her. But you know what? I love her. I love her fully because she is a part of me. Sure, she made some choices I don't agree with now, but I respect her. She did her best with what she had at the time. You know what I mean. You're not supposed to let go of your past. That's not what I'm saying and it's not what the universe wants from you either. You should cherish those parts of yourself, hold them close, and love them. Most importantly, you need to forgive them. It's all about forgiveness. Make space for all those pieces of yourself inside you. But here's the deal, when I say your new life will cost you your old one, I mean you have to be willing to let go of things that no longer fit who you are. To step into the unknown and create a new story for yourself, you have to leave behind the things that weigh you down. This can be super scary. It requires blind faith because you've never been this new version of yourself before. You've never created from this place of knowing your worth. Right now, you're being called to create a fresh new life. But to do that, you can't carry the same old baggage. You must drop what doesn't serve you anymore. Imagine packing for a trip. If you bring along heavy bags filled with stuff you don't need, you won't have room for the exciting new experiences waiting for you. It's time to lighten your load, embrace who you've been, but be ready to step boldly into who you're becoming. It really will change because you just don't connect with those things anymore. You might not feel excited about your job or the people around you. But that doesn't mean you have to stop loving them. You can still love things deeply, miss them often, and send them good vibes. Think of the movie Eat Pray Love. It's about loving what you had but also knowing when it's time to let go. You don't have to throw away these pieces of your past. Instead, you can accept them and carry them with you. Just remember, they can't lead the way anymore. You need to take charge of your own life. 
Tell yourself, babe, I'm ready to move on. Talk to yourself like you would to a friend. Say, listen, we can't keep holding on to that old habit. It doesn't fit who we want to be anymore. I know it's hard, and I know it's scary, but we've been through tough times before. We survived that, and we will get through this too. And you know what? Pray. That's what I'm hearing right now. Pray and ask for help. Call on your angels, your spirit team, your ancestors, or loved ones who have passed on. Ask for guidance and support during this time when you need it the most. It's perfectly okay to ask for help. Trust me, I'm learning this too, and it can be tough to admit. But guess what? It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel scared and uncomfortable. Sometimes, it feels like you might break under the pressure, and that's completely normal. Embrace those feelings. They are part of your journey. Reach out for support when you need it, and remember that you are not alone. You have the strength within you to overcome anything. You've proven it time and again. Just keep moving forward, one step at a time. You got this.